Welcome to Math Fanatics. In this video, we're going to learn about the opposites and absolute values of integers. First, let us recall the positions of integers on the number line. If Wences' grade in math decreased by 3 points, then this is best represented by negative 3. On the number line, negative 3 is found 3 units to the left of 0. On the other hand, Kate's grade in math increased by 3 points. This is best represented by positive 3. This time, on the number line, positive 3 is found 3 units to the right of 0. If we put both situations on the same number line, we see that the two integers are off the same distance from 0 but are on opposite sides. Numbers that are off the same distance from 0 or the origin but on opposite sides of 0 are called opposites. So, the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. And the opposite of positive 3 is negative 3. Let us try more with these additional examples. Identify the opposites of the following integers. Positive 18 is the first integer. And its opposite is negative 18. Our second integer, which is negative 47, has positive 47 as its opposite. Positive 90, on the other hand, has negative 90 as its opposite. Finally, the opposite of negative 100 is positive 100. What if we consider adding these opposites? Positive 18 plus negative 18 will result to 0. Negative 47 plus positive 47 equals 0. Positive 90 plus negative 90 also results to 0. Even negative 100 plus positive 100 is equal to 0. With this, we can conclude that adding or combining opposites together always results to 0. In fact, there is another term that we can use for opposites of integers, and that is additive inverses. In effect, we can say that adding the additive inverses results to zero. And this shows the inverse property of addition of integers. Inverse property of addition states that the sum of a number or an integer and its opposite is zero. Let's go back to the two integers we had earlier, negative 3 and positive 3. It was mentioned earlier that the distance of negative 3 from 0 is 3. And the distance of positive 3 from 0 is also 3. The distance of a number from 0 on the number line is called absolute value. The symbol for absolute value is a pair of vertical bars. So, the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. And the absolute value of positive 3 is also 3. How about if the number is 0? What is the absolute value of 0? You're right, it is 0. Notice that the absolute values of negative and positive numbers are always positive values, while the absolute value of zero is zero. Let us try more with these additional examples. Evaluate the following by applying the concept of absolute value. First, what is the absolute value of positive 15? That's right! Its absolute value is 15. How about the absolute value of negative 42? What's your answer? Correct! Its absolute value is 42. Now, 
What's the absolute value of positive 80? You're right! Its absolute value is 80. This time, how do we evaluate this? There is a negative sign right before the absolute value of negative 10. First, get the absolute value of negative 10, which is equal to 10. Then, Affix the negative sign which is found before the absolute value sign to the answer. Remember that the absolute value symbol does not affect the negative sign in front. Good job, students! Now let's make a recap of what you've learned today. Numbers that are of the same distance from zero or the origin but on opposite sides of zero are called opposites. The other term for opposites is additive inverses. Adding additive inverses results to zero. This shows the inverse property of addition which states that the sum of a number or an integer and its opposite is zero. The distance of a number from zero on the number line is called absolute value. The symbol for absolute value is a pair of vertical bars. The absolute values of negative and positive numbers are always positive values, while the absolute value of zero is zero. That's all for opposites and absolute values of integers. Hope you've learned a lot from this video. Kindly share with your friends. Hit the bell icon to keep you updated. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Math Fanatics.